Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about first aid and safety. Um, th this is paramount to, to a pleasurable trip and perhaps could be um, very important to your, you know, your survival. I hate to always talk about survival like every time you're going to go camping or you're experiencing the outdoors you're going to die or anything. That's truly not the case, but if something bad happens, you, you kind of want to be prepared. So I'm going to talk to you about a couple options here. Um, I do not claim to be an expert. I love the outdoors. I, I think I have some common sense when it comes to uh, do's and don'ts when you're in the outdoors. And um, a lot of people who are inexperienced with the outdoors sometimes can be complacent or forget or so it's it's all about really being truly prepared i'm out here in bear creek uh excuse me it's not bear creek it's bear lake campground in munson florida so i'm in the middle of the blackwater river state forest it's beautiful out here uh but i, I want to talk to you about this because I, it's very important uh, before I forget this, to mention this, if you buy one of those little rinky-dink $10 uh, first aid kits at, you know, wherever, you might you might as well just throw that in the trash. Save your $10 and go out and get go to Subway or something because it's not really going to do much for you. Um, I'm going to show you some options. Uh, I'm not going to show you all the options, but I'm here to try and help you prepare to be mentally prepared for when you're out away from a hospital or, you know, any type of rescue area. So this is a first aid kit, right? This is uh, a really nice first aid kit. It can be obtained at, obtained at Walmart for about $65 plus tax. You're probably looking at about 70 bucks. Um, what I like about this, it is, it's not cheap. It has a little bit of everything in there, but you still need more. And I'm going to show you an accessory kit you can make yourself. So anyway, so this is it. This is what the kit looks like. It's 11 and a half inches wide by 13 and a half inches tall. And it's like four and a half inch. I, no, it's four inches deep, I believe. I believe it's four inches deep. So I, I all I've done is remove the shrink wrap. Uh, but I'm going to talk to you about a couple more things before we open it up and view together. I think this is a really good find. Um, I got really lucky. Got this $65 kit. No tax. At a flea market today. It was shrink wrapped. I just removed the shrink wrap. So it... For, for my purposes, my investment, it's a great deal. But I want to share with you because it's very important. Okay. I'm going to try and show you the class up front. These are heavy duty. Class right there. Seals very tight. You have a handle. You can carry it like a suitcase. Very nice structure on the rear. And I will be putting the model number in the description of this video. And, uh, I, you know, what do you call this? A review or an unboxing, unveiling? We're just going to talk about first aid and safety. And on the back, what I really like about this, after looking at it, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to have to point it out. Right where my finger is. There's two keyholes, and they're six and a quarter inches apart from each other. So that's really cool. If you had an RV or you have type, some type of setup in your, 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 your tent, what have you, that can be mounted. So six and a quarter inches apart, keyhole, boom, you can just slide it right there, be readily available. This is also great for home use, office use, what have you. So you can just snap the thing open and you're, you're good to go. So we're going to open this up. 
and I'm going to try and show you kind of what it looks like inside without totally dumping everything. So, like I've said in almost every video I do, there's always bound to be a helicopter above. It's the Forestry Service, plus there's a aviation training center for helos out of here. Sometimes it's hard. You, you never know. So we're just going to roll with it, right, folks? Uh, so now that you've seen basically what it would look like as it's encompassed here, there is, let me see how this, okay, I'm going to show you this because I didn't know this. I'm going to try and show you this without making a fool of myself. It's like a page in a book. It opens up like that. So I'm going to show you a lot of each of these items are just multi. When it says it's a 326 piece kit, there's multiples of a lot of these. So, what you have here is an isopril prep pad. Uh, if I had to guess, there's 15 or 20, I don't know. I'm not going to go do all the research, but there's another little pocket for the same amount. Then, uh, this is really good. I'm, I'm almost need it right now. I didn't put any insect repellent on me probably should have thought ahead and prepared key message of the day always be prepared but this is insect sting relief there seems to be about i don't know maybe 10 of those don't know how many exactly then there is antibiotic ointment there seems to be about five of those these are really nice if it's a wall mount, it kind of tilts forward to you, probably like a 45 degree angle. And then there is uh, antacid. Antacid, I don't know how many are in there. I don't know, a dozen or so. Then we have some packages of non-aspirin. I'm not going to re read all the information on each one of these. You know, we... We can do that another day when we're camping together, right? <laughs> All right. Then there's aspirin. All right. I'm not a doctor. I do not pretend to be a doctor on YouTube. But I've heard that if someone incurs a uh, heart attack or a stroke, if you can put aspirin in them, it, it helps uh, increase their chances of survival. Um, pretty sure it's heart attack. I think it's stroke also. Check with your local physician or just to, you know, go to Dr. Google. But that's kind of cool to have. Like I said, not all of these are life-saving. These can just be comfort, comfort uh, aids to unpleasantry if you're out in the middle of nowhere. And this is very, here's a good one. It would really apply to Florida. Uh, I have some friends that have nicknamed me Florida Man, even though originally I'm a Yankee, born and raised in Wilmington, Delaware, for the most part, other than the last 20 years, I have been Florida Man. Burn cream. So that's good stuff to have. So this looks to be like some type of gauze. There's two of these little bundles. I like that. There's a lot you can do with gauze. A lot you can do. And um, what we have here, I'm going to show you this in another kit. Similar. This seems to be like the similar concept. But these are called uh, quick and clean. They're like, I guess, like sanitary napkins, I'm assuming. And it's an antiseptic hand wipe. So I hope you guys are uh, liking this. And just picture that I scored this brand new kit that was still shrink wrapped for $10. I kid you not, in relationship to fishing uh, tackle box, just the kit alone would, would 
sell for probably 15 to 20 dollars all right so little scissors like uh, medical tape athletic type tape these are tweezers obviously you're going to be out in the boonies you're going to you know you fall over you get into a briar bush or something like that this could help you uh, there's some other little contraptions on the I'm not sure if those hold a purpose I did not do all the research prior you get the idea so now I'm going to show you this really good bundle of various types and sizes of bandages um, I'm kind of like all thumbs right now burn cream somehow the burn cream drifted over into that compartment um, we have the small uh, let me see if I can get it organized here these are the little tiny bandages I don't know if you can see that little tiny strips obviously you know you're not going to need a tourniquet if you need one of those but um, these are cool I like these These are called butterfly closures. I'm going to show you right here. If you get a laceration and you don't have the ability to uh, stitch yourself up, it's going to, it kind of acts as like a stitching. Try and keep, you know, your, your, your laceration together. Um, so there's like, there's multiple sizes of bandages here. Uh, I don't know where the beginning is here. I don't know how well you can see that one. It's like a medium sized one. Uh, there's a few of those. Then there is, I'm sorry, I'm looking down. I'm trying to uh, decipher this on the, on the fly. These are more heavy. There, there you go. More heavy duty. It's like a stronger uh, surface area bandage, and it, it feels like it's a different type of texture uh, that's going to hold everything together. So I'm going to shove that all back in there, and uh, you know how that happens. You know, it never goes back in the way it came out. But we're for video purposes. I'm not going to show you just me just shoving it in there. But hey, that's what I'm doing. All right, so let's see what we got here. Okay, I think these are... No, you know what? I know these. I First, I was going to say I thought they were cotton swabs, but they're not. They are uh, like medical gloves. Like there's uh, kind of like a nitrile glove, I guess you would say. So you don't want to get... A, if you're doing any type of medical... Uh, performance you're not going to get any type of uh, dirt or you're, you, it's supposed to help prevent getting any type of uh, create any infection all right here's I'm showing you what the rest is just a little bit of paperwork there um, this is a really cool idea really cool idea as I'm taking a quick glance at it it's your first aid preparedness guy, your doctor's name, your allergies, what have you. That's really cool. That would be really cool to have. Um, there's some iPads in this in this kit. That's really helpful. You never know you could get swatted by a, a limb or something like that. Uh, I did not know this kit had this. It's an instant cool compress. That's really helpful. That's really helpful. I'm trying to be gingerly with that. I don't know how that activates without reading, but then we have uh, sterile extra absorbent ABD pad, five inches by nine inches. So that's what's in this kit. 
Then we have some of these, other gauze pads, four by four, four ply. All right, we have described as a triangular bandage, 40 inches by 56 inches. So uh, that tells me it could be used as a sling, just based on reading what, what I see there. Uh, basically, for lack of a proper term, tongue depressors, four of them, um, kind of like your, uh, your Q-tip type things. There's three of those, so there's probably about 30 in total. This back section, I don't, they, they, the little slots do pull forward. So that is that as far as what I was able to uh, get lucky with and receive on um, this flea market find. So I'm going to close this up. Then I'm going to talk to you briefly about when I was a new YouTuber, I talked a little bit about first aid and safety, how you can create your own kit. So there's what I, I did was I went to um, Rural King. It's kind of like a tractor supply store. If you're not familiar with, with you know, what, what it represents, it's like a farm store type deal. So this is a little orange bright ammo box that I got relatively cheap, six, seven bucks, I believe. So I went and added a bunch of things back then. Ideally, it should be a little bit bigger, but I'm going to give you an idea of some things you can add perhaps to, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to give you an idea of some things you can add to this, your, your own homemade kit. I put some cheap ponchos in there. They're like 99 cents at Walmart. They're like Ozark Trail. Just, you never know when you're going to get caught. Uh, you can get some of these empty vials at Walmart. Like, I think there's five in a pack for a buck or a little bit over a dollar now. Um, the reason I have those empty vials is you could put different types of uh, any liquid you feel that it's going to be uh, an assistance, an aid to your your displeasure or what have you. Um, I do have some peroxide and alcohol in here. And I'm going to show you how this vial can be utilized probably a little bit more efficiently than what I have currently. Many years ago, uh, I did a project in conjunction with a local restaurant in Fort Myers. We sent a bunch of stuff to United States Marine Corps uh, battalion, whatever you want to call it, probably about 40 of them. But we received uh, thousands of these wet naps, fresh naps. And you, they can be used to clean your hands, your face, what have you. They could, you know, be used as a bottom wipe if you're out in the middle of BFE. So, another thing, very important to have, this is an older knife, nothing uh, fancy. It serrated a little bit. I probably need to clean that up a little bit. Uh, but some type of knife would be helpful. You're going to need it in, in many ways. Right here, uh, having been a football coach for about 25 years or so, um, I have a lot of experience and use applying and actually using it on myself when I was younger, athletic tape. Really good, really good find right here. I suggest this over what was in that little uh, first aid kit that I showed you the first time, athletic tape. Probably like two or three dollars at most. Probably get it at Walmart, anywhere like that. A really nice ace bandage with two metal clips. You can do a lot with that. I'm not going to go over every scenario that you could use it for. Um, ibuprofen. 
you're having a headache. You saw in that other kit, there was some pain relief type medications in there. Um, that, that, that's helpful. It's the, the more you have, the better. So now keep in mind, some of this, you could streamline a little bit, whatever you feel fits your desire. I'm going to show you something else that's always helpful to have. Petroleum jelly. This is not only good for um, different uses, you know, rashes, what have you, but it's a good ignition source for a fire. So this is Equate antibiotic cream. That's like a neosporin type thing. Has many uh, good uses. Here's another small container. So this is where you could utilize these versus this. This is 50% isopryl alcohol. You could have two of these vials. You know, you always want to label your products, what have you. If you become unconscious, whatever, somebody's going to know what, what the resources are available around them if they see you finding your first aid kit. Uh, so you could do a couple of these. These are different color-coded caps, but that's an idea of something you could do. And um, sorry, I'm looking down. Hydrogen peroxide spray. This is a six fluid ounce uh 3% solution, that could be helpful, and Old Faithful toilet paper. And I thought that was the last item, but something else just fell out that I'm glad it, it is here because I kind of forgot about this. I'm not going to lie to you. These are tweezers. These are much better tweezers than was in the first, first aid kit that I showed you, but so that's kind of like some of the things that are encompassed in what you could use uh, for first aid and survival. Uh, some of the things I'm just thinking of quickly, you know, like, you know, some, you know, if you're on a hiking trail, which matter of fact, this trail right here is a six mile trail. It's a biking and hiking trail right here goes six miles. But it, it probably wouldn't hurt to, like, it's, it's kind of like a fine line. Are you strictly talking first aid or are you combining first aid and survival or what have you? But it probably wouldn't hurt to have a whistle in here, maybe some type of sounding device, whatever. But you may not be lugging all this if you're hiking, but you need some of this, probably some of the basics. So uh, maybe keep that big first aid kit at your campground, or maybe, uh, I don't want to say you use the word pilfer, so to speak, but purge a couple of each of those items. You can streamline it and putting, put something in your backpack so you can be prepared, you know? So it's, it, and once again, you, you should probably notify people where you're going to be, what you're going to be doing. If you have somewhat a, of an idea, plan A, plan B, plan C. So if people don't, if let's say you, you're, you're due back Monday at noon and by 4 p.m. no one's heard from you, they're trying to reach you, maybe you have a dead cell phone or something like that, people need a starting point to start a rescue crew to look for you. So uh, there's going to be some more cool things I'm going to be doing in conjunction with the Florida uh, Forestry Service. I just left their building a little while ago. So hopefully I'm going to be able to really up my game, produce better content for you. But I, I feel very strongly and adamantly about first aid and safety, uh, especially someone like me. I, I most of the time am traveling by myself, so I really need to be prepared and, and safe. I should be looking behind me to make sure there's no bear sneaking up on me. There's no rattlesnake on the ground. That's part of survival, safety. You kind of have to keep your head on a swivel when you're by yourself. But anyway, folks, so really appreciate you guys tuning in to Jailbait and Tackle Outdoors. Uh, we're trying to up our game. And remember, if you like any of this content or you have any input or say on what you'd like to see, we're, we're always open for input. And what we always say here on the channel is 
always know your legal limits. Appreciate you tuning in. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe.